municipalities want them, but the province doesn't. During last week's Alberta Municipalities Convention and Trade Show in Red Deer, Alberta, municipal leaders voted overwhelmingly to ask the province to allow municipalities to use automatic vote tabulators in the upcoming 2025 municipal elections. There is the results in favor, 85.8%, 464 votes. Opposed, 14.2%, 77 votes. That motion is carried. Now, the Alberta government remains firm in its decision to ban electronic voting tabulators despite significant pushback from municipalities, which argue that the move will slow down ballot counting, increase costs, and reduce accuracy. Premier Smith said in a press conference after the vote that they were not going back to the tabulators. You, you know, I, I think that the, the promise of vote counting machines was that we would end up with uh, faster election results and uh, people would feel uh, confidence in the result. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, I think when I've observed what has happened with, um, for instance, the last provincial election, we didn't get results until you guys tell me one or two o'clock in the morning. And often it was because it was the tabulators that came in last. And um, I think that uh, we what what we have heard is that people want to go back to counting ballots the old-fashioned way by paper and so that's what we're going to do at the provincial level and we've started doing that at the municipal level premier smith's government passed bill 20 at the close of the alberta's legislature spring session in may which included a provision prohibiting the use of the electronic tabulators well, look, we have asked the municipalities to give us the um, the statement of their costs and so that we can help defray them. But look, it's it's uh, it's one time we get together every four years at the municipal level, every four years at the provincial level. Um, it's a, an important democratic right and an important democratic responsibility that we make sure that we've got the uh, resources there. So we'll work with those municipalities. I think there's um, about 30 municipalities that uh, use tabulators of the 320. So we'll work with those 30 municipalities to see what we can do to defray the cost. But we're not prepared to ask them to do something that we're not doing ourselves. We'll, we'll be um, debating doing the same thing at the provincial level when uh, the Elections Act changes come through next spring. Alberta Municipalities President Tyler Gandum is now urging the province to reverse that decision and wonders where the decision to ban these tabulators is truly coming from, as it's not coming from the members of Alberta Municipalities. We represent 85% of Alberta's population. Uh, we are closest to the people. And so when it comes to an increase in cost to local elections and the time difference that it's going to take, it's our residents that are saying that's not something that they want. Uh, I'm not sure where the province is getting the information that um, Albertans want hand-counted votes at, a, at the municipal level uh, when we're not hearing that um, through our discussions and, and meetings with the public. So uh, I would be really interested in hearing where, where that request is coming from because we're not hearing it as elected officials. Now, while the province asserts that the change will strengthen election integrity, municipalities are concerned it will have the opposite effect. Rick McIver, the Honourable Minister of Municipal Affairs, says the tabulators do not hold up to scrutiny. Listen, nothing's more confidence. Uh, nothing more, is more important than the confidence Albertans have in the results of an election when they're reported. Uh, in fact, Leger uh, released a poll in June where they said 36% of Albertans don't trust electronic counted ballots. I don't think it's a good thing to have one out of a th over one out of three Albertans walking around not trusting the results of an election. So we're going to do it. We're going to uh, do it without the electronic uh, counters. It's worked for decades, and uh, it'll work again. And, and the argument that it will be faster doesn't necessarily hold true. Uh, in the Calgary, where I got elected here a year and a half ago, um, the uh, results came in, and uh, many of my colleagues didn't know what the results were till 11.30, 12, 12.30 at night. Uh, one of my former colleagues thought she'd won the election in Banff, Canmore, was busy partying till two or three in the morning and then found out she lost. So the argument that uh, somehow electronic ballot counting is magical and really fast really doesn't hold up to scrutiny. Now in a one-on-one -on -one interview with Mayor of St. Albert, Kathy Heron, whose city put forward the resolution, spoke to us after the vote and after the Premier's comments. 
St. Albert's put forward the motion to uh, the resolution, I should say, around tabulators, automatic vote counters in municipal elections. You had the debate. Overwhelming majority said yes. Were you supported? Were you happy with that vote? Uh, not actually. I thought it would be a little bit higher, to tell you the truth. So yeah, very pleased with the 85-ish percent that we got. Premier Smith, Rick McIver have both come out already within the first, not even five hours of the vote, and said it's not happening. How do you? How does an organization move forward from a resolution that got an overwhelming support to the province saying already heck no? Yeah, you know what? It's happened before, and, and it, uh, the one I can point to is the low cost interest rates that we used to get. They took it away. We St. Albert put a motion for a resolution for it. There was no way it's never going to happen, and then it happened yesterday. So there is always a little bit of glimmer of hope. I think what I would love to actually do is sit down with the Premier and MacGyver and say 85% of the people in this room, over a thousand people, that I can't imagine they've talked to that many individual Albertans that have said we don't trust the tabulators. So please show me the data and the surveys that you have done to, to back what you're trying to do and show the lack of confidence because municipalities have high confidence in the tabulators. What does that mean from the back end perspective of how much it's going to cost the city of St. Albert if voting tabulation doesn't go forward and it's now hand counted? Yeah, so we're, we're grouping all the Bill 20 costs together. So we, we have to do registry lists now, which is going to cost us a lot of money. We've already hired a person, so that's a full-time salary in St. Albert right now just to deal with the election in 25. Probably half a million dollars. I, I, we haven't done the full analysis. Red Deer is over a million. We're a little bit smaller, so I'm thinking somewhere between a million and half a million. You represent the people of your community. Have you heard anyone in the city of St. Albert talk about not wanting voting tabulation machines and wanting it just to be hand counted? Not a one. Honestly. Never in the almost 15 years that I've been elected have I ever had a question of the accuracy of an election. Where do you think this is coming from then? I, I, I feel like there's some people that are buying into some conspiracy theories, and I'll use the word, it's that these things aren't accurate. And that's okay, they can believe that. But the province should not be making decisions based on those type of um, um, theories. And if they want to, then do a little bit of investigation. Show, you know, do the, do the research. In the states, it's very different, I'd like to point out. In the states, they use vote, voting machines. We still use paper and pencil and we just count the votes. Quite different, but even in the states, the voting machines have gone to taken their, you know, the claims of, of inaccuracy to court and they've been proven wrong, so. Alberta NDP leader Nahid Nenshi said that the province rationale for the ban is based on United States conspiracy theories. No, there is no problem with using vote tabulators. And let's be clear, vote tabulators are not voting machines. They're like the things when you were in school and you used your HB pencil to fill out the answers and the scanning machine counted the answers. That's all they are. And we only started using them in Calgary in 2018 for the Olympics referendum, but there are places in Alberta that have been using these for decades. And so, you know, the challenge is, what problem are you trying to solve here? And what other problems will result? The other problems that will result is that it's way, way, way more expensive to count by hand. So two things will happen. Number one is it will take way later to actually get the results on election night, but also that it'll cost a lot more. So one mid-sized city told me they estimate their election will now cost $300,000 more to run. Um, in a city like Edmonton or Calgary, we're probably looking at a number into the millions, and they're not paying for that. And so the real question is, what problem are they trying to solve? And the answer is pretty straightforward. I mean, what a strange answer from the premier. Somehow hand counting will lead to fewer close races or fewer candidates jumping the gun and making a speech before the final results are in. It's not going to help. In fact, it'll make it much later at night. Um, the real thing here is she's listening to conspiracy theorists from the US who think that somehow vote tabulators can be hacked. Here's the thing. The vote tabulators are not connected to a network. All they do is count. Uh, they are not voting machines. You cannot hack them. Um, and if they really wanted to fix a problem, what they would do is they would give provisions in the Municipal Government Act to hand count votes in a recount when the vote is very close, which the Municipal Government Act currently did not allow when you have vote tabulating machines. That was a loophole. But that's easy to fix. Um, and she's just listening to conspiracy theorists and clearly has not thought this through at all.
Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode of Municipal Affairs. Now, we hope you've enjoyed today's show. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an upcoming episode. Your support helps us continue to grow and bring you more important conversations like you heard today. So stay connected, stay informed, and we'll see you next time right here on Municipal Affairs. Until then. <laughs>